Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Diablo. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you watch this video. And you better subscribe. Hey, what the hell was that? Oh, that must have been Diablo playing a trick on you guys. But, make sure you subscribe. This is Skaglabones Reaper of Souls here with our second episode of our Crusader Hardcore power leveling. So let's get started. It's okay. I'm here to protect you guys. So where we left off last week was we were right around level 15, I believe. Nope, sorry, level 16. So we are level 16, we were running rifts. And uh, looks like we got some more to run here. We're going to just keep running, keep running all them rifts. We said before, that's the best way we want to power level. Your character is by running rifts. We'd also, if you remember before, we had kind of raised our level a bit. On hardness level, we're going to run through. We're going to run through here a little bit and, uh, and we're probably going to raise it again. We don't have too much trouble with this difficult level. Like I said, the main thing is that you want to remember is you don't want to raise too many levels because you might get stuck. So it's quite important that um, you keep uh, your difficulty level at a comfortable pace. These conduit, some of these conduits are really good because they uh, they'll give you some lightning damage, as you can see. They'll put them to good use. They'll kill most everything pretty quickly, including your uh, elite mobs. Like we said before, you want to make sure you pick up all your Nephilim glory orbs, that's the yellow orbs. Later on, your health orbs will actually become kind of important to you as a crusader because you can get Reaper's Wraps in the right, a great way to uh, keep your resources uh, capped off. Reaper's Wraps is a level 70 uh, wrist wrap and that, uh, that uh, takes all your health globes and turns into Wrath Regeneration. So. Or any resource regeneration. Playing other characters. Now, typically, I don't run into too much resource uh, management problems when I'm playing other other classes. Sometimes the Demon Hunter can uh, be quite of a bitch in resource management. But, uh... Now, here's one little trick for you. You see those Frozens, correct? Well, Frozens are going to freeze you and they're kind of a pain in the ass. I don't really like them. But, if you pop your iron skin, your iron skin will make it so that you can't freeze, you can't be uh, ultimately crowd control. The only other thing that will allow that is Akrat's Champion as well, so that's two crowd control uh, abilities that you got. Uh, with uh, iron skin, you got to cool down 30 seconds. With Akrat's Champion, you've got to cool down to 90 seconds. Of course, you get more time out of Akrat's Champion. As you can see here, you get four seconds of your iron skin. And we don't actually have, on iron skin, we don't have a, uh, a rune just yet. We're going to cancel it. Let's see. Oh, I'll do that. Devour. Now you have your laws of justice. We just gained that, but we're going to keep it with laws of devour. Like I said, we're trying to run through this as quick as possible.
Now, it won't protect you. Your iron skin will protect you from explosions and stuff, but it's not going to 100% protect you. Ooh, look at that, you see? You never know when you're going to pick up a legendary. Got ourselves a spear. Let's see, damage, strength. We can actually go under here. We can... Right now we're at 380. We can try this. This is single-handed. Oh, but it doesn't give us much. So, we're going to go back. We're going to take heavily strength. We're going to actually give this to our Templar. Because that's quite a bit upgrade for him. Good choice. So, you never know when Legendary is going to drop. That particular legendary, your lore of legendaries are not going to actually have any special abilities. So, unless I get extra damage from it. Oh, I have to slap it. I like to think the world is safer now. Oh. Popping some legendaries here. Now, normally I'll wait till we get, get back in town to pop on legendaries, but because we are it's only twelve. Right. That on him. Give him a little bit extra, not a whole lot. I'm not sure what level we can actually put. Um, I forget exactly which level we can start socketing. We're gonna have a, a slot for a gem slot. I say I hate, always say socketing, but it's actually called a gem slot. But we'll see here soon. Once we beat this one, we'll go. Or we fill up our bags. Well, one of the two, we're going to go back into town and we'll uh, find out how much. Or see if we can uh, re roll on a socket. I'm guessing it's probably right there. Oh, for this one. Exit. It is. It goes all the way around. So a couple things. Uh, we need to remember it's it, make your most out of your runs. You want to make sure you do get enough from uh, enemies from your area that you're in. And you also want to uh, take the most efficient pass uh, when you're doing your rift runs. Okay, Rifts, even if you're not taking as efficient path as you could, typically you're still going to do things quite a bit faster than if you weren't. If you're just doing a bounty and stuff. Here. 
You notice even in these explosions, my character is still doing a lot better with my all resist. Nothing's really giving me any damage. So. Small stuff I can let it kind of hit me. There you go. There he is. Never were you going to want from any elite mobs. It's uh, kind of defeats the purpose of doing a run. You're going to run from elite mobs and you're going to run for everything else. Yeah, you want to go all elite mobs. How many yells you got? Pretty much when we say elite mobs, we're talking about any any blue mobs, any yellow mobs. Yellow mobs are pretty simple. You have one strong mobs. I'm gonna stand right in the middle of it. See that? I heal myself so quickly that. that uh, no real effect. Even though it calls all that damage my. Crusader heal himself pretty instantly. Not a big deal right now. So if you're already up at a Paragon about 200, you've reached level 70, you die somewhere in there. Don't be discouraged. In fact, don't even be discouraged if you got level Paragon 50. Just keep going. Create your new character. You haven't lost all your gear. That's why I keep everything. The only thing I have right now is the stuff that I picked up, correct? I'm not going to keep any extra stuff in my bag at this point in time. The only thing I have in here is stuff I picked up, stuff I've upgraded to, things like that, because if I keep it in my bag, I'll lose it when I die. The last, time I, the last thing I want to do is lose a lot of gear. Now, once you hit level 70, you're always going to lose whatever... Obviously, you always lose whatever gear that's on you, but you're going to lose quite a bit more valuable gear because you have all your legendary gear on you. That's why I always carry a, keep a couple sets inside my uh, my box and that way I can always have backup gear for when I hit 70. You don't really care about legendary gear that much when you're under level 70 simply because uh, you're going you level up too quickly. The leveling process is way too fast. Be worrying about legendary gear and crafting of legendary items. I have a lot of crafting I can do at like level 30 and 40 with legendary items, but it's not really worth it, and even sets for that matter. Like I said, always keep yourself moving. Any of the pylons you can. Grab any of these you can. Intelligence is really, really good. But I'll grab them. Don't worry about the direction you go. If you get into a dead end, that's not just going to be a problem. You see right there, we got a Rift Guardian. Of course, uh, this Rift Guardian has to throw out some Arcane and do some damage. Do not do a whole lot because of our all resist. can do some damage, a tiny bit, if I stand right in the middle of it. Not enough really to make it that difficult for me. You can only carry so much on the Crusade. This. Also, when you're at lower levels, and you've already been to level 670, sorry, and you have your, you don't want to pick up any gems. These gems are worthless. You're not going to actually use them for crafting. You end up turning around and selling them. I'll show you why. I need to go back. Turn around and go back to town. We already gained two levels. We're going to salvage everything we got.
Okay. Let me show you something. Okay, so we have these gems. Once we're able to do any sort of gem, use any gem slots, I want to use these gems. Okay, these gems are, your Marquis gems are a dime a dozen after level 60. Actually, 61 and on. So these just drop like candy. As you notice, I got 300 of those. There. So I can use these ones. I can save my Imperial ones, my Flawless, I can save, and my Royals, but these Marquis are a dime a dozen level 61 so I want to use those one set of those is a big deal and it adds so much more than the next one under it in fact I'll show you here if I go to gem combiner I go to let's go to a diamond right diamond is all resist you look at Marquis diamond it's uh, uh, 62 all resist you go to the one right below it it's 58 all resist Okay, 54, 50, 46, 42. Now the thing is to make these 100,000. Okay, these cost 200,000 to make, 300,000, 400,000, right? The difference is, notice here, it goes from 5,000 to 10,000 to 20,000 to 30,000. It doubles every single time. Okay. So in reality, you got to start down here, and it doesn't cost hardly anything. It looks like oh, that's real cheap. You got to get so many of these, make these. When I already have, I got a buttload of these guys. Marquis. Okay, I got a buttload of the Marquis amethysts. A buttload of all these. So don't go and try to make ones up to there because you may get one or two. That's it, and you're going to spend a lot of gold. It's not really worth it. Okay? So that's what you're going to do with that. Now, one other thing we said we wanted to see if we can socket this slot in here. Let's see, damage strength. Let's do this. Nope. There is no slot yet this. Same thing with this. I don't believe there's a slot available. Oh, this one does get a lot. So life per hit. We're going to get this. I don't care about the life per hit. I could actually get rid of the strength and keep the life per hit. But I don't really care about life per hit right now. So I'm going to roll for a socket slot. There we go. Second try. Bam. Got a socket. I'm going to go over here. Now let me show you something. We're at 460, right? Good sword. Now here's the multiplier. I'm going to take one of these. I use one of these. These are 160 damage. These are 190 damage. This is 220. This is 250. That puts me to 2,370 Five damage because now this went from 50 damage to 345 damage. Okay, remember without that damage, I was only sitting because if you notice my base damage went up. And there you can see the base damage and then the attacks per second. Then you have added damage of nine through 11, nine through 11. So your base damage went up. So that makes this quite a bit more powerful, right there. So, now, I'm just going to clear this rift. Okay. See if we got anything yet. We got a falling sword. No Viagra's champion yet. We're going to keep falling sword for right now. Don't have invincible yet. We got Blessed Hammer, but we're going to keep that. We're going to still keep Shield Bash. I'm not going to use Blessed Hammer right now. I, need it. I got Slash. Still got Electrify. I could go with Carve. Carve's a water area, but if I'm going to use Slash at all, I want to use Crush. The slash gains 20% increased critical hit chance. So that greatly increases it. Makes it 
but I'm not going to use that. Ultimately, I want to get to justice. Justice is... Uh... Wait, no, I do have justice. Okay, so we're going to use justice. I want some range. Provoke, we're going to use cleanse with provoke. Speed charge has ramming speed, but we're not going to use use provoke because I want I want some wrath regen. So we're going to click on that. Except quick attack. I don't care about these guys. I don't care about busting hammer. Cancel out of that. We're going to go on iron skin. Iron skin has got reflective skin. Why active? You deal 200% thorns damage to all attackers. So we're going to look over here. Go to our thorns. Six damage to make it 200 damage. Actually, 1,200 damage. I haven't heard from the Harondon you sent to restore okay. Still those civil souls oh, let me show you something here. I hate to think that any man in the order will come to harm. All of us know the risk, too, but we believe in the new world. Oh, there's a show. Okay. So right now we're going to exit. Out of our game, uh, we got everything pretty much the way we want it. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our game settings. We're going to change this from hard to expert. So we're going to go up to master. We're gonna save and close. We're gonna start the game. We're going to do a test run. Okay. Always when you do this, don't open a rift. Do a test run. Vitally important you do that. You don't do a test run. You don't know if the I mean the rift could be too powerful for you. The area could be too powerful for you. I always go here, kill the Asmodan one. Area crater. Very easy, very quick run. Just a little bit easier at these lower levels. Later on, we're going to use. You notice everything is dying really quick. I'm going to overkill everything. It's almost going to kind of be kind of silly. Right. This regular initial attack is going to do. So, that was awesome because if you notice, this does 1700 weapon damage to everything within 14 yards. It costs Wrath and it has a 30 second cooldown, but it's pretty effective. So, you can see there, it really made the smack down. Garbage. So, I'm going to have no problem running a Rift. Looks like we'll finish this stuff. So we're gonna finish this stuff. So I'm killing these as quickly as I was before. So in reality, it's a level 15. I'm sorry I misled people. Um, I think I mentioned previously that possibly it was level 20, but it's not. It's level 15. Level 15 weapon. We have a gem slot in it. Okay. See how fast we kill Diablo. This will be a really good test. So far, last. We're gonna go to Inspire. Okay. Remember, this is a level 15 weapons, five levels underneath what mine is. But if I find another item with a slot, I'm not gonna worry about it. 
So we'll keep that weapon for, for a little bit of time at least. Probably when I hit. There we go. Kill Diablo pretty quick. Blessed shield, we're not going to use blessed shield. Might. Might. We do have a new passive skill slot. We have a heavenly strength right now. We can't use fervor because it's a single handed weapon. But we have fanaticism, let's see, all attack speed to punish slash smite justice 15%. So we're gonna use we're gonna use vigilant right now. Okay. So you can use righteousness. Uh, this will help your wrath regeneration skills a little bit more. You can use fanaticism, which will um, increase this primary attack by extra damage. Or you can use insurmountable, but right now our block isn't high enough that that's gonna do any good. So we're gonna use righteousness. Okay. Don't want to use fervor. I'll go back to here. If you're either going to use heavenly strength or fervor, or if you have a single hand weapon, always use fervor because that's going to uh, decrease your cooldowns by fifteen percent. Okay. Let's go back and start a rift. Once we, in fact, we actually got a better helm right there. Bam! We're going to put that on. We use that. That's for female follower and I'm not gonna put in strength never put in strength in these all your sockets well actually all right elm you notice this elm increases bonus experience by 39% so I'm not gonna use a, a royal ruby this one will decrease my cooldowns by reduce cooldowns all skills by 10.5% so I can put that in there I have no cooldown reduction you notice if I use this one, I get extra gold from monsters. If I use this, I get extra life. Now I'm not really a chance to find magical items. So I could actually probably use that. Magic find is zero, but this is kind of up to you what you want to do for your helm slot at this point in time. Because you could use cooldown reduction, but that's not necessarily completely needed at this point. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a cooldown reduction. I am not going to, I'm going to use all these up. I'm not going to use any of these because I don't care about extra strength for my equipment. I do care about all resist. Now, if you look at your like dexterity, it almost doubles. So if you look at your strength on this, here's here's what this gets a little confusing. Strength is 62. Strength is 100, 160, 220. So it jumps in increments of 60. Okay, this one doesn't. It goes 66, 62, 66 for resistance all. Okay. So don't be see, be, be deceived by numbers like that, so don't think that they're all equal. All resistance is always going to be slightly different off from the other numbers. Just have to actually look at uh, which ones. Okay, so that's a couple other tips there. So I'm going to go back and run another rift. We're going to level quite a bit quicker now because we're in a higher level. We're actually two levels higher than when we, when we started. The three level. That's when we originally started the game. 
And you notice, we still kill him. Enemies pretty quick. One thing is get these late mobs. I keep picking up gems, I'm so used to picking up gems. So. Yeah, I'm just getting legendaries after legendary right now, aren't I? This is real quick. Bank vitality resistance doll. We're gonna actually try to roll that regen life. We'll throw that eye on. So. If you look at our strength, our strength right now isn't that much. Now, if I had gem slots, I could have actually quite a bit of strength. My strength isn't worth as much at lower levels as damage, as weapon damage is. Adding that to the damage of the weapon actually does more than just plain strength. We got condemn. I'm not going to use condemn yet because if you notice here, condemn takes builds up over three seconds. We're not going to get it to level 33 when we get unleashed. We're going to keep provoke. It is a nice little damage dealer, but oh, do cleanse. Oh. like I said, when you first get the skill. It doesn't have a rune. It's not really worth using it other than Fist of Heaven. Fist of Heaven is the only ability that when we, as soon as we get it, we're going to use it. Fist of Heaven comes at level 26. So, as soon as we get Fist of Heaven, we're going to use Fist of Heaven because Fist of Heaven is the best secondary skill right now for a lot of things. Now, there are some builds use different skills that are a little bit better than Fist of Heaven, but those are very specific builds and we were not going to use those builds until we hit until we hit level 70. We can't really use Phalanx right now. Phalanx will come to later. And it's not really worth anything until we're actually able to use it as a Great damage to really. Because it does have a little bit of cooldown initially. So it's not really worth anything to us now. Even when we initially get it level 27. Now the interesting thing is with your yellow enemies, there's one enemy and he's got, he'll have minions. Like your blues, there'll be three or four of the same, exact same enemy. And in order to get all your points for that enemy, you have to kill all three of them. Once you do, you get a little bit extra for that enemy. With a yellow enemy, you kill just the yellow one and not his minions and you get the points for it and the loot as well. So that's how it works. Those. Also if you look underneath it tells you the, the type of enchantment that they're going to have.
Fortunately, we're hitting lots for blue and uh, yellow mobs here. Allowing us to level up pretty quickly. colors of stuff uh, later on we'll dye things or change the look of our gear I don't use worry about that when we're at lower levels because as, I, as you can see I've changed out probably about five or six pieces of gear in the last less than an hour so you'll be here all day That means that there is, you can see that stone to go back to the, that means that this is the only level we have to kill enough stuff, it means it's a very large level, it's an extremely large map, that means we have to kill everything on this level, which is fine, be able to get enough stuff to get to this boss, typically on a level like these, I won't go around looking for all the Blue and yellow mobs. As we can. Funny, I'm not having finding very super heavy concentrations. Now there's one that's unusual. Normally you don't find them with five, you find them three or four, but in this case we have five. An incredible feat. More enemies in the blue mobs are going to also give you a little bit extra experience over one that would have like say three or four. There isn't a ton of extra experience, or in this case, uh, points your towards your rift boss, but it helps. As you can see, this shattered shield actually works so well right now. Because it uh, breaks up, and especially if I'm going into a very large group of enemies right there. I'm going to kill quite a few of them. If I go into just one enemy, it's not it doesn't do a whole lot of good. There you go. Got our boss. Use that guy. Pull these. Should be over a couple seconds. There we go. That purple stuff we, we picked up is, that's the blood shards. Wow. Toughness. And healing. I'm going to actually use this one, even though it's slightly less damage. Let's look at the amount of damage we do gonna give me a little bit more life 
Vitality, I'm not worried about that guy. I'm looking at some of this stuff. Like, that's even though it's a little bit more armor, it's less strength and vitality, so I'm gonna keep like on there right now. Well, we're just going to keep going to the rifts. Probably the fair as well. Sell these gems real quick. Gems you, have, you can't do anything, but you have to sell them. I mean, you're not going to use them. Like I said, I'll never get enough go through this too quick to not really gather. I can see if I can roll a socket for that. Might be able to get one socket or slot, jump slot. Bam. Reason, reason. I rolled the resistance to all. Oh, well, they're all resist. So the life per second. Is this? I'll show you something. I'm gonna add this guy here, right? This can give me 66 resistance to all. Which is what it's gonna do to my toughness. Right up to 25. If you look, I want to get keep my toughness or my all resist as high as I can. So that's one of the reasons I did what I did. Many Nephilim have stood where you are now, but few succeeded in overcoming the trials. Oh. That's a little bit better. Got strength. Want to keep strength on on your follower at all times. Always keep strength on them. Don't worry about other stuff until later on. Your big thing with your follower is just make sure he's got strength. Stack up his strength. You don't stack up his strength, his damage is gonna not be that good. So you can have something have a gem slot. Awesome. But so you do that. Just keep this like this. Crusader shields most of the time are going to always be better. In this case, it's not. My best bang for my buck right now is on Crusader shield. Same thing as like with the Barbarian. The Barbarian belts aren't always going to be better. So just keep big thing, keep moving. Always keep moving. These levels. Now, 
if you're really trying to challenge yourself and you're at a slightly higher level than you normally would run at, then fine, you can slow down a little bit. But the best power leveling, you, you don't, you can over level yourself. Or I should say, you can put yourself a too hard of a difficult you level for leveling where you actually lose efficiency in leveling so that's what you don't want to do you want to stay away from that you're not killing stuff quickly as I am if you notice hitting things one or two times let me just move on if I can't kill things that quickly then My damage is way too low. I need to bring back the difficulty level. Now, if I'm at the lowest difficulty level and I still can't kill things quickly, then it means that your gear is in extreme need of an upgrade. So that means you really need to just look at upgrading your gear, maybe making some more gear. Amazon plots in the case. But things could not be so hard that you're on the easiest difficulty and you can't kill things pretty quickly. Also, you don't want to deal with exploring everything in rifts. Rifts aren't about exploration. So, the last thing you really need to... Granted, I know you want to get all the... Many of the enemies you can. So now we just got an Akras champion. But because we don't really have rune with it, we're going to wait. We're using it. We're going to continue to use Iron Skin. Because Iron Skin right now is going to be slightly more efficient. And it's going to have less of a cooldown than we're going to be able to use it once or twice. Actually, if you notice, I haven't been using my falling sword damage quite that often. So, probably go away from it. I could probably add. Where's our exit at? Not quite sure. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Somewhere is the exit. It's gotta be in here. So let's go that direction. See if we can uh, find the exit. Uh, you want to all grab all the ears and decent tears you can get your hands on any of the crafting items that fall those are really important those are actually probably worth more than those will stack you get a lot more stacks of those than you will for other items but when you tear apart gear you get it as well so 
Make sure you pick up any gear that you're not going to use because you can always salvage it. Somewhere. Might. Oh, well, we might. <laughs> we might actually get to a rift boss before we find exit. This. Okay. Fist of Heaven. So we're going to use Fist of Heaven. Let me show you something here. Alright. Want to hit him? Bam! I did all that damage to him without him even being next to me. And I got a little bit... It's a little bit uh, more resource friendly. Sorry, I should say. Not necessarily as resource friendly. But it works a little bit better in conjunction with. Like I said. I'm betting that we'd find the Rift Guardian before we... Miss. See that crap. What's the amount of damage overall? It off and some spare use that pop that I'm gonna give him this nope that wish I could that's fine I'm gonna go back to town Remember, if you always want to make the most of your time, go to him first, because it'll give you that countdown, that timer. Ah, what am I doing? Let me 
didn't do that. <laughs> sometimes happens. Sometimes you click on the wrong stuff. Whoopsie! Oh, look at that there. And then you don't have anything for your legendary items, so you have to manually click on each one. It's always going to ask you, do you want to salvage the, ma the legendary? And you're going to have to say yes. Which is kind of nice because it means you're not going to accidentally salvage something you don't want to salvage. So that's pretty much how that works. Let's run. Let's see here. Actually, I'm going to look at something real quick. Let's see if we can make ourselves another weapon here real quick. Oh, we're at You make some of this stuff, but I don't really want to waste on legendaries. What do you want? Well, got them all. Okay, so we're going to try to make well, it's going to be decent. So if we can get it at least at the same, close to be the same damage. Yeah. Strength, vitality. Because that's quite a bit more strength. Pretty much equal. How was that one? We come up to here, try to get our socket. Don't care about vitality. Want a socket? Bam! Second try. Easy peasy. So now we're gonna go drop that in there. Drop us down. Remember this number three, two, two, four. Okay. So we're gonna go to fervor. Okay. We're gonna salvage. Bam. And we're at five thousand now. Five thousand five hundred. So this is quite a bit better. It's a single handed weapon. Okay. I'm just going to keep running. Because I don't have a necklace right now. Why? I can go down here. Got some new so what if some of my goods come from dead soldiers? They're not using them anymore. Oh, intelligence. Complete garbage. If I had a socket, it would be worth something. No slot, no socket, yeah. Really worth it. So we're just gonna keep going, folks. Keep going. I forget what it is that we gain our fist of heaven. First fist of heaven is divine well, it's level thirty-two. Let's uh, We gain it level 30. Is it going to accept? We can go with Undestructible. Now, once we start to get to higher levels in our character and we start to get into Torment, Torment 1, Torment 2, Torment 3, we're going to put in Indestructible. But it's not until we get into those levels, those difficulties, that we want to use Indestructible. So, so we're going to... Once we beat this rift, we're going to bump it up a notch as well. We got Lar Valor. 
invincible. Invincible. Care about these guys. Uh, 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 cancel. You're not going to do us any good. But we're going to go. Provoke has that cleanse. Huh. I'm not gain such use. Five seconds. Queen of Fear. I don't want that to happen. Okay, because we're not trying to do that. Condemn. We've got vacuum, but we're not interested in that. You got nightmare for that. No, it's not. Not interested. Iron skin has steel skin skin. Now, here's what we not now. Now iron skin has steel skin, which increases the duration to seven seconds. So we want that. Okay. So well, that's what we're gonna use right now. Now we got Phalanx. The problem is with trying to do the Pony build is we could do a Pony build, but but let me show you something here. So we go here. Say I want to do Phalanx. So I go over to Phalanx, right? Summons powerful avatars. We charge toward the target destination is caught in the tar path tape. Problem is I'm gonna only get one set, so let me show you this. Okay. The phalanx isn't gonna do any more damage. Actually, if you notice, it's kind of slow and clunky. Not really. It's not as efficient as Heaven's Fist of Heaven. So Fist of Heaven is quite a bit more efficient damage. And you get a couple bursts off and thing is, Fist of Heavens explodes outwards, causing damage outwards, where Phalanx is just a... Pretty good. Our speed pylon is going to greatly... Pylons, like we said before, it greatly increases. Really want that. You know, we're kind of going out of your way for it. We're killing the mobs pretty quickly now. Try to hit 30. Well, we definitely will hit 30. Now, even though we've been at this for as you can see, we're doing a tutorial. talking to you and you see how quickly we're, we're covering ground here right so 
We're changing gear out and stuff, and I'm showing you how we change gear out. Kind of a worthless necklace. But... some of the other skills. There we are to the end of this level. Blind enemies tend to be the most annoying. Looks like we got ourselves a resplendent chest. Not too much worry about strength on the weapon. The big thing is if it has a slot, and it, if it's and if it's more damage than the previous weapon we had. So. Rhyme is one of the few and he can be tight pain because of his freezing does quite a back quite a bit of damage. Just kind of looking at everything. I kind of look at everything real quick. So it looks like everything's up to date. I just got to suck at that. Put a gem there, put a gem there. I could put it, I could put a gem here, but right now. Single handed weapons with that gem. Single handed weapons tend to do a lot more at this point because if I put a gem in here, I'll show you. Let me go back. Go back. Real quick. Show you exactly what's going to happen. So, watch this. See that? Only makes it three hundred six damage. Three hundred six 
I need damage because there's no strength. If I had strength added, I have a little bit more armor, I have quite a bit more damage. It's actually calculating in your strength and the amount of damage. It does. Okay. Don't worry, we get that gem back. And we want to do another rift, but we're going to raise it. Leave the game here. One more time. We're going to raise it up once more. And we're going to go to Torment 1. So we started on normal. We are now four levels above where we started. Four difficulty levels. Okay. Close. Start game. Now, Torment, being on Torment, we're going to have to keep up our weapon. Ain't going to be a joke. So, so, go right into it. See how we do. I know I'm breaking my rule, but I'm going to go right into it. I'm going to go right into it. Don't have time to waste here, folks. Look, they're doing fine on that one. Now, I don't recommend this the first time you do in a tournament. Oh, first time you do hardcore. I would not recommend it. Sockets. Not enough left. Ooh, look at that. That doubled the amount of damage. Okay, so now. We got our third one. Okay, so now. We can do this. Right now we're at 6,000 damage. Right? DPS. We choose Holy Cause. 7,000. Or, the other choice would be to go with Indestructible. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is instead of having Righteousness, I'm going to have Holy Cause, but I want damage. We're going to go with Indestructible there. Okay? Because I want... To not die. And that's if I do die for some reason. That's what we're gonna use right there. We will at least have a chance because we will be can actually die. You can see we're killing stuff still pretty quick in Torment 1. Probably up at even Torment 2. But, you can see now we're starting to get more enemies. And they can do quite a bit more damage to us. So. Now I'm actually taking some damage. Yes. 
taking me a little longer to get some of these Which way do we go? Which way do we go, George? I always love about these. They're just so fun to try to find the exit. There we go. There's our exit. As you can see, though, we're not doing too bad. Ooh. Nice. A little something better than what we had. I don't even know what I put on there, I just think it was, it was just better than what I had. Yeah, it was crap. But we're gonna put that on our Templar. Ooh, look at that. Embracers. Yeah, this is some random garbage. What a box. Not even a box. There we go. You can see we're getting better and better gear. The drops aren't that bad. Now, I'm not saying that you're always going to get drops like this. We've been actually pretty fortunate with our drops. But, despite uh, drops or anything else, you just you want to. I do want to get rid of is this falling sword damage because I don't like a cooldown with a wrath cost. That's absurd. Voke. Still going to keep that because I'm going to use that. Heaven's Fury. Oh, now we got Blessed Ground, so Blessed Ground has popped up. We're going to get rid of falling sword damage. We're going to use Heaven's Fury and Blessed Ground because it is only a 20 second cooldown. Is quite a bit less than the other. And as you can see, it's going to cause quite a bit more damage. Um, and it lasts for longer. It actually, lasts, it has a, lasts for five seconds. The cool thing is, Blessed Ground causes it to do 1700, 1500 damage. So, you can't be Blessed Ground. I use
Heaven's Fury with Blessed Ground is, is well worth. Especially at earlier levels while you're, you're on power level. Oh, look at that. So once we're done with this rift, we are going to actually uh, upgrade two items. We'll do that real quickly before we stop the broadcast. We actually have two items. Oh, we're upgrading. That's going to be our chest piece, by the way. Always stick those in the front. As you can see there, our iron skin really saved our butt. Excellent. That is good. Three strength. Almost there for a couple more minutes and we'll be done. That in. Two slots. Gotta roll that for two slots. Re roll that.
We can use that. He has no relic. This will age. That's more strength vitality. We're going to use that. Come in. Those pants. And then we can get out of here. I'm returning to town. So hopefully we should level up with this. Put us at level 34, 33. A fine battle. You notice how far we're going. More experience. 100,000 experience. We're at 33 now. So we're going to... Change that out. Seven thousand. Or try to roll. I don't, I don't care about the vitality right now. Big concern for me. Hold that for a second socket. Bam, we got our second socket. So we're going to put that there. Salvage away. Okay, so we got that one. Got that one. If you notice, we've gone up now, extra thousand. And there we go. We've gone up where we need to. We'll drop these in here. And that's it, folks. There we go. We're at level 33 now. We're a little bit farther than we were. Well, quite a bit farther than we were yesterday. We um, over doubled our levels. Our levels are at. And as you can see, we've uh, gotten quite a bit of progress. And we're at Torment 1. So that's the big thing. So as, remember folks, keep gaming. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, then go ahead, give it a thumbs down. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Um, leave comments in the comment section below um, of what kind of video game comment uh, commentaries and uh, content you want to see, or any kind of content for that matter. And We'll see you next time. This is Skagglybones. Reaper of Souls, thank you.